So we are shooting today on the 24 to 70 uh, 2.8 G Master on the A7 IV and there's Josh. <laughs> so we actually shot this video at this, a different location, but I like this spot so much that we're actually going to start here instead because, I mean, yo, every photographer that's looking at the video right now, look at this location. Are you fucking mad? <laughs> so we're going to get started. I'm going to be shooting portrait and landscape because we need content for not only Instagram, but website shots as well. So they'd normally be shot landscape. Make sure I've got my CPL filter on as well. I'm shooting at 1 over 320. Uh, F3.5 and then ISO 640. Obviously, I'm on Sony, so noise is not really an issue. <laughs> oh, it looks so sick. And for all the photographers out there that dehaze their sky, you don't need to do that today. <laughs> so foggy. Some of you know what I'm talking about, some of you don't. I'm actually going to polarize for the windscreen because the reflection off the side panel is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We'll still get a dope shot. This thing is so sick. <clears throat> get some closer details. Remember, even when you get close up to the car, you can still use the polarizer on different parts. So if I spin it again, that's this is going to be a shot not polarized, and then polarized is going to look like. Yo. <laughs> Cool, Josh's turn. So yeah, the way we work is I'll do photos from pretty much this angle. And once I've done that, um, Josh does his videos from this angle. And then I'll do a shot like with the car pretty much bang straight on. But in this location, we can literally just go on the other side of the car and shoot that way because it looks exactly the same. <laughs> so normally with wheel shots, I kind of, I tend to shoot at like 2.8. So 2.8, oh, there's a bit of a puddle there. Didn't even notice that. Get a little bit of a reflection shot. Wow, that looks so good. Yo, <laughs> love this car. I just love the fact that it's just so foggy in the background as well. So a couple of little detail shots, like with the wheels and stuff. <coughs> Get some wheel shots in. So good. Get the vent as well. Again, we can use that CPL and just get that carbon detail in. <coughs> get them detail shots. So yeah, the clips you've seen in this YouTube video, they're shot by Josh. And I said I'd uh, pay for his McDonald's today for it. <laughs> so I love coming to spots like this where you, there's no stress on like time. There's no one to bother you. You're not like, in, in, like in anyone's way. And you can just literally focus on getting your shots for the car and just trying to make sure that you're getting every angle. Because there's nothing worse than being in a location where you know you're quite rushed. Because then you fuck up, make mistakes. And then afterwards you're like, fuck, I should have just took my time. Um, so yeah, this is sick. So again, we're just going to start... A little bit high up, last standing shots. I find on estate cars as well, um, depending on the angle, you might have to be a bit more offset <clears throat> just to show kind of like the length of the back of the car, if that makes sense. Do some kneeling as well. Man, I can't get over this location, man. Get some landscape. Twist that CPO. So normally in the daytime, I sometimes shoot through the viewfinder, um, but on POV video, it's nice to kind of show the screen for you lot. Again, in a location like this, just play around with angles, move around, just kind of find a spot where you can kind of show like off the car, show off like the shape of the car. So if you see with that shot compared to this shot, you can see just by going offset, you can make the shot look so much, or make the car look so much better. So we're shooting at about 50 mil. Nice focal length to work with. And that background looks so good. Do some landscape as well. Twist that CPL to get the rear window a bit more polarized, making the shots look a little bit better. Do some zoomed in, a bit wider, get, kind of get the back end and the exhaust. Right, so this is a perfect example of why you do need a CPL when you're taking pictures. So that's polarised. Now I'm going to do a shot where it's not polarised, as if you didn't have a CPL. So look at that difference. <clears throat> 
So get yourself a CPL. Links down below this uh, variable ND and CPL filter that I use. So if you click that link, it will take you straight to Amazon. You can buy one. I think they're like 60 quid, probably a bit more than that, depending on filter size. Obviously the bigger the size filter, the more expensive, um, but it's worth it. Trust me, I, I don't take this off. Yeah, fuck that. Right. <clears throat> Right, so basically just going to get a really quick clip just for our socials and my social as well. Just handheld. So the good thing about the A7 IV, it's got a built-in like active stabilisation, which is actually <laughs> so good. If you're doing slow shots like this, just for like real sort of stuff, I pretty much only use handheld. And then you can do whip pan stuff using the gimbal, but for like handheld stuff, this normally works fine. I normally find just putting put like a little tilt on the clip just kind of adds a bit of movement. And even if you don't have a camera with stabilisation built in, that can still work. So literally just tilting adding some sort of movement and again you can tilt as well as kind of pull the camera back literally just using your body get one of the headlights so you can see the fog so again just pulling it out <laughs> scoop and then do that so it just looks mean from the front especially those red seats the car looks so good kneeling as well So a good thing about leaving the car on is you'll actually get some some smoke coming out the exhaust on a cold day which makes that look so much more cinematic as well. So do some standing and portrait. Oh that's smoke man. Makes it look so cinematic. And I'm shooting at 70 mil on these shots. So sick. <coughs> <laughs> Yo, that looks mad. <laughs> so sick. I love this thing. Hope you enjoyed that. So uh, we're gonna jump in Lightroom now and I'm really quickly just gonna show you how I edit these photos. So starting with this landscape shot and I basically just straightened it up. Now my base preset is gonna be Blue Haze from Zion preset pack. I'm just gonna chuck that on. Then all I'm gonna do is, let's just get out of the way. I'm gonna play with the temperatures. So I'm gonna bring the temperature up, bring the exposure down so I want like a nice dark sort of feel to it. Lift the highlights a little bit. Let's lift the shadows. Add a bit more warmth into the shot because that's the vibe I'm kind of going for. I'm gonna mess around with the yellow slider. So I think it was about there I think I want. Uh, on the tone curve, I'm gonna bring the uh, shadows down, give it a bit more contrast into the shot. And then at the same time, bring the shadows up, just to get a bit more detail out of it. Probably bring that temperature down a little bit. See already that shot I'm pretty happy with. Minor little tweaks that I'd that I did for the uh, final edits. So I'm messing on a bit more with obviously all the sliders, um, dropping the clarity a little bit to about 12, textured down a little bit. Um, it's already got like a nice gritty feel to it, so I don't wanna mess about too much with that. I've done the color grading here, a bit more blues into the shadows and the highlights, and then mid-tones has got a bit of a green to it, but I believe for the last edits, I think I double clicked it and took the green out. Uh, bring the sharpness down a bit, noise reduction is not too bad. Uh, add a bit of vignette into the outside of it. And then for the mask, I'm gonna have a gradual filter on the floor. Basically just gonna bring the brightness down or exposure down. So it draws more attention and attracts the eyes to the car. And then with the top slider, I'm gonna delete it because I don't need a dehaze. Pretty much it for the edit, <clears throat> really simple. Just blue haze and then minor changes, really easy. And then all you're gonna do is gonna pick the photos that you wanna uh, sync it across. Once you've done that, you press sync, check all. If it's a different ratio or aspect ratio, just unclick that, but have the mask sync. Uh, really quickly, just my export settings, choose your location or whatever. And then I use for Instagram, it's limit the file size to 3000 kilobytes or three megabytes. Image sizing, unchecked, output sharpening, unchecked, metadata, do whatever you want with that. And obviously I'm gonna add my watermark if it's going on Instagram. 
but these are my export settings. It's literally just limit the file size. That's pretty much it. I don't even mess about with the image sizing or sharpening. So yeah, really simple. So there's a the video, I hope you enjoyed it. And this was a long one to make, especially for the first video of 2023. I wanted to make sure that the production value going into this was a little bit higher and you can expect better videos from me this year. I've got to thank Josh or Everywhere Productions for grabbing those extra clips. Instead of it all be just being POV, it's nice having secondary angles so you can kind of see the environment and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, like I said, you can grab the presets from my uh, website, lewismorrismedia.com. Yeah, you've got a mega preset pack on there as well and all the other packs that I use. I obviously showed you in Lightroom what preset I did use. If you do want that one, that one's called Blue Haze. Oh yeah. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the video. There's definitely more coming like this. I've got to give a shout out to Noto Moto for this t-shirt, by the way. And they gave me a yellow one, but the back of it, check. <laughs> Sick. Uh, yeah, more videos to come. And I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have watched it to the end, I appreciate you. Drop a like, drop a subscribe if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Whenever that'll be, who knows. And I still need to get a new chair. I need to go to Ikea. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs>